guys, happy Thursday. It is April 13th and my 50 mile race is in two days. This afternoon I fly to Kansas for it. So I thought it'd be fun this morning to take you guys through my whole packing routine for an ultra. I know how stressful it can be making sure that you have everything, having the foresight, anything that could possibly come up race day to have the items you're gonna need. And so I think I have it down to a pretty good science now and I wanted to share that with you. Okay guys, first thing we start with is race outfit. That is kind of a ritual I have. I start with the exact outfit that I'm gonna be wearing on race day. Um, I have backups, which I'll cover as well, but this is what I start with when I'm packing. I mentioned this in other videos. I like to start with brand new sports bra on race day. Um, I've just found that over washes, and I don't dry them, but over many washes and wears, they stretch out and they can slip around and I don't want any chance of any rubbing or blister on my ribs or back. So you can see I'm going to cut off the tag to this Lulu bra and take that out. And then if you guys didn't already know this, I thought it was common knowledge, but these tags that are inside Lulu clothes, they're meant to be ripped out. So literally they just rip right out. Nothing happens doesn't do anything to the seam, and so then you're completely no tag problems on this. So this is the Long Line Energy Bra. I've showed this in their videos. I love this bra. I ended up also getting a new outfit as well, but I don't do this for every race. I did for this one, though. This is, let me see, the Swiftly Tech Short Sleeve 2.0, and it's the race length. So it looks like this, and it's the material, um, like the Swiftly material. You guys have seen this. Very sweat wicking. Nice short length, so it's gonna go right to my hips. I have a short torso, so it's the perfect length for me. And then I got the All the Right Places crop legging. These were actually on sale. Um, let me double check. Yeah, these are the 23 inch inseam, and they go really nice and high. I've worn the All the Right Places for all my races. Um, again, these have been used over and over again, the pairs that I have. So I wanted a fresh pair that's gonna hug me tight and not move around. So I have these in this blue color. They're gonna show sweat, but I'm gonna be so sweaty that I'll probably just turn a completely different shade of blue and I don't really care. Good pockets in here. That's a non-negotiable for me on race day. I love shoving wrappers from my gels or my little salt tubes, which I'll be showing you guys in here. But I really, really like having pockets on race day despite having my pack. So I'll be in this, this, this long line. And then a backup I have will be the regular energy bra. This one, I will be cutting the tags off that as well. And then a brand new pair of my Njinji socks. These are ones that I ended up not using in Mammoth. They're the, I forget what length, this is like mid ankle length. This is the trail style, merino wool of course, because I'm gonna be wicking away moisture. It may be raining that day. Toe socks and yeah. Now we're in the bathroom. I like to kind of separate things based on kind of the category that they are. So in here, I'll show you guys. Don't mind me in the mirror. Um, I've got all of my foot supplies, which I have showed this so many times. My Hampton tape, this is my KT tape. I have a brand new full roll in here, full bottle practically of the chamois butter. Bunch of little band-aids in all different sizes. These little ones I'll use around my toes. Um, these bigger ones maybe for just things that come up mid-race. And then I just realized I'm actually down to my last big uh, blister band-aid. These go in my arches, so I'll be stopping um, once I'm in town. I will be stopping for a new box of these. Neosporin in case I have any issues with infection or cuts or anything like that. Um, and then I put two extra pairs of socks just by this so I don't forget to have backups. And again, that's for rain. All right, now we're in the kitchen and I have all my fueling hydration stuff laid out here so I know exactly how much of it I have. I assume to be out there on Saturday for 10 plus hours based on my last couple 50 milers. Haven't done this course, but that's just my best guess. And this helps me know exactly how much I have of everything. Starting with Tailwind, these are the packets I put in my soft flasks. So I've got some with caffeine, some not, some flavored, some not. They have about 200 calories, I think, in each pack, which is perfect. Uh, you can just sit to get those calories in when I'm not feeling like having real food. Then I lay out a bunch of my element packets. These are the electrolytes that I love. Low in sugar, maybe no sugar, I don't even know. Uh, great, great product. And I have the raspberry salt flavor, which I am obsessed with. I'm gonna put these in water as well. I will probably rotate between the Tailwind and these. These aren't calories, these are just electrolytes, and I have a bunch of them. I'll also probably drink these in the days, like today and tomorrow leading up to the race and afterward. In here, I've got my salt tubes. You guys have seen these. 
base salt. So let's see if it will focus. There we go. Electrolyte salt. So what you do, lick your finger, pop it open, shake it like this. Salt's on your finger. Lick it off. I do this about every 30 minutes or so just to not cramp. And they work, let me tell you. I always put two because if one explodes and it's all in this bag, <laughs> then I have a backup. And then I have my little scooper because I have a big tub of this that I refill these with and that can help me collect all the loose salt. Okay. Next up, I've got some bars. These are my favorite to eat pre-run race. They're really honestly my breakfast almost every day. So I'm bringing two of these um, just to have. I'll have one on race morning for sure. And then this is maybe just if I need it throughout the day. Two cliff bars. Again, I have run and used these for so many years. I know how my stomach does on these white chocolate macadamia. Then we have my spring gels. These are awesome. These are gels made of real food. So it's like rice, orange juice, salt, uh, fruit. They're very basic. They're not any crazy chemicals and all that stuff. So I sit well with these whenever I'm doing races. This is the apple cinnamon pie flavor, 180 calories in these. These are the coffee ones. These have caffeine, obviously. They are 210 calories, so a bit larger. I have the Hill Aid. These are awesome. They're like a mango flavor. A little bit of caffeine in here. The idea is that these are like a quick burst. I've really watched these work so quickly. This is just 100 calories, and then this is a larger one, 120. Um, these are awesome. They have This one has like a minty taste to the mango almost, but it goes down very easy. Last two are the Canterbury. 100 calories each. These are great flavors. I Guys, I've used spring for so long. I'm obsessed. A little more expensive, of course, than like something more standard of a brand, but I really love them. Be careful. They do expire, so they can't last forever, so make sure you check those when you buy them. And then I have had this just from my last race or maybe two races ago, an old Skippy packet, and we know how long Skippy lasts, so I'm bringing this just in case. That is it for my fuel. And then up here as well, I have my watch fully charged, but I also of course have the charging cable. This lasts, I think 35 hours, 35 hours I think, um, on one charge with GPS. That is why I love my Coros. My Garmin couldn't even come close to that. So when I did my 100 miler, this lasted the whole time and I had battery for like a day after. It was incredible. I will not be using um, headphones in my race, but I do have my AirPods just for the flight and maybe my shakeout run the day before, but I'm just gonna be alone with my thoughts on race day. And that is everything up here. I use the spring bag that they come delivered in to put all my food in and stuff so I have it. And then I'll fully pack up my pack um, the night before probably. Okay, down here on the ground now, I have put my shoes and my hydration pack with my different bottles. So I'll show you guys that. First things first, plain shoes and back up run shoes. These are gonna be what I put on if something goes wrong with my original shoe choice. Hoka's of course, these are the Bondi 8s. I haven't run a long distance in them, but they would be a good backup if I needed it. Good grip on the bottom, enough grip for this type of terrain. It's gonna be like dirt path, kind of loose gravel, um, and they're just really comfortable, so good. These will be my racing shoes. These are the Speed Goat 5s, I believe. They're incredible. Really good traction. I wore, wore these in my Mammoth race and they were basically brand new for that. So they're the perfect level of broken in. They've done a lot of long runs with me. I definitely have some mileage left. Um, they're perfect. Now for my pack, I am going with the Ultimate Direction Race Vesta. You guys know I was doing the trial with the Nathan pack. I just never nailed it with my long runs in not getting rubbing on my sports bra line. So I'm not gonna chance it. I wanna go with something that I have used so many times. This is incredibly light, incredibly light. So I'm gonna go with this, and inside of this, I'm gonna put the Nathan um, actual camelback, the bladder, that's what it's called. This is insulated, so I can put cold water in and it will keep pretty cold. <clears throat> not that that's a huge deal. And it's the perfect size. This will go in here, just like that. And I've got, of course, the tube to go with it. This has a magnet on it if you were to go with your actual Nathan pack, but of course I'm not, but it's just a nice thing to have. So there we go. I have, of course, a backup bladder because you do not want to be with a broken, exploded bladder and no option. It also is in the race rules. You have to have a hydration pack with you because they don't want anyone dying. <laughs> and then the tube to go with that one as well. My two soft flasks. One of these, uh, one of the old ones I had broke 
mid-race in Mammoth, if you guys remember. So two of these, and then for backup, if one of those fails, I've got this little insulated guy that would fit, I believe, in one of the pouches here. So that'll be fine. Yeah, it should be fine. So that is everything for the hydration. So I'll, like I said, I'll pack that bag up the night before, get everything dialed in. The rest of the food that I don't put in the pack will all go with my crew bag so that they can help swap stuff out for me. Okay, guys, we have the suitcase out. I'm going to show you what I do here. I have my um, side with the flap is going to be shoes and then like irregular sized things. <laughs> so I brought my mobility ball. This is huge for just rolling out and it doesn't take up too much space. Burks, of course, the shoes I showed you guys. My rain shell, super lightweight. Um, I think I've showed you guys this. It is outdoor research i believe is the brand um this is incredible i have raced in this so many times so lightweight has zippers underneath the armpits so you can breathe my pack and everything so that will all go in here with my bag packed up with the food um sunglasses i have two hats not sure what i'm going to do but yet gloves and buff Okay, back in the bedroom. I have all my clothes laid out. I had some mess in here because of the sheets and stuff, but race outfit like I showed you guys. Um, I have other clothes, lots of comfy loungewear because I am going to be um, in Kansas through Tuesday um, hanging out with my dad's friend. They have a really nice like lodge type house, so it's going to be a lot of R&R &R after the race. So I mostly am just bringing sweats and running shorts, honestly. I like to put all of my stuff in packing cubes. I just get them on Amazon and it helps kind of consolidate everything into categories. So I know it's where everything is when I get there and it's easy to unpack sort of. So I'm going to pack everything up in the cubes and then those will go in this side. And then I decided actually I'm going to put my hats and sunglasses and watch and everything in my backpack. I'm gonna bring this Patagonia that I bring everywhere, it's awesome. I'll try to link the style, it's incredible. Um, and then my laptop, etc. will go in there. Okay guys, final touches on the packing. I have a lot of miscellaneous that I haven't mentioned yet, so I wanted to tell you guys what that is. Um, first things, I added over here my extra garbage bags and I added a Ziploc gallon size as well, just for any sweaty clothes, anything like that. I also added a hand towel in here to my crew bag. Um, in case I just need it for sweat or a bunch of dirt and just need to kind of regroup at an aid station. It's amazing how much something so small can help when you are not doing well. Okay, then moving over here, I have all my toiletries. These will go in my backpack. Um, a small makeup bag. I have, this is like shower stuff in here, obviously normal toiletries and everything. I added some Advil. I may need that mid-race, so I have that bagged in here to just throw in the pack. I have um, contacts, extra contacts, obviously, especially in my bag in case anything happens during the race. I have terrible vision. Um, good hair ties. That's really important for girls or guys with long hair. Hair ties that are comfortable and not going to pull. So I really like um, this type. It's kind of like a fabric, but they're really tight against the hair and then don't let anything move really. Um, I think everything else is basic toiletries in there. I've got my Kindle. I've got two hats like I showed you guys my sunglasses. And then over here is just all my cords. So I'm going to edit a video for work on Monday. i um, got my laptop, chargers, of course, watch like I told you guys, AirPods. This is my little Lulu uh, crossbody bag in here. I've got my wallet, chapstick, basic stuff. Um, yeah, I think that's it. And I'm just going to zip this up now. I've got my airport outfit. In here, just gonna wear something comfy, leggings, this over kind of like corduroy jacket thing, and then Burks with socks. And yeah, I think we're about ready to go. I can't think of anything else. The only thing I need to do when I get there, like I said, is buy more of those bigger band-aids to go um, on my arches when I tape up my feet that day. But I feel pretty ready, so I'm gonna zip everything up. And then I left myself a full hour to have a good healthy lunch. I have chicken and veggies left over um, and not have to rush out the door. Thank you guys for watching this video. Wish me luck on Saturday. I will definitely be recapping it or filming parts of it, maybe both um, for you guys, and I'm really excited. Love you, subscribe if you haven't yet, and I will see you soon.
quick update. I know I already left you, but I just got an Amazon delivery earlier than I expected. And I had ordered some extra Tailwind and Chews and Electrolyte mix just in case I didn't have enough. And it ended up that I did, but I was like, oh, let me just see. So anyway, I'm actually gonna pack a few of these Scratch Energy Chews. I used these years ago and I remember loving them. So I'm gonna bring some of those and then I got a bunch more Tailwind. So the flavors I like a little bit more than the ones I had. And then this is the orange salt element and I'll throw a few of those in, really, really good. I like them just as much as the raspberry, but little update. Okay, now I'm really leaving. Love you guys, bye.